Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Phantom Glass. Visit store.phantom.glass for the best darn screen protectors out there, as well as HyperX. LG's big push at the show for TVs this year is 4K OLED. So they've got a really cool demo behind me that really, I, I think, explains some of the advantages of OLED very visually. So on your left, you've got a traditional LED backlit LCD. So you've got the actual back panel, you've got a diffuser sheet for the backlighting so that it just, you don't just have like bright spots in the middle of the panel. You know, you ever heard of backlight bleed? Well, that's the kind of thing that is inherent with a, a backlit design that then has a panel in front of it that has to turn the pixels black in order to try to block as much light as they can to produce black. Well, you can never reach black that way. With an OLED panel, the one that I have here on my left, well, all there is is the back cover of the TV and the OLED panel because it emits its own light and each pixel can be turned off individually for effectively black or infinite contrast. But of course they don't expect you to take their word for it. Behind me is the OLED experience room where they've got their own so LED backlit LCD TV with... Well, localized dimming, which is a way that LCDs can try to achieve better black levels, at least in certain parts of the screen where the image is darker for better effective contrast. It'll kind of like a, a voodoo trick that I've never personally really liked and I usually turn off. And then they've got that next to an OLED TV where this, uh, the, the imagery they have of this sweet little piece of motorcycle art demonstrates extremely well how the black parts of the image really are black instead of that gray that you've come to expect from anything that is not able to individually turn off the pixels. But OLED's about more than just improved black levels and, you know, vibrant colors and all that kind of stuff. Through the use of, uh, well, what is effectively a simpler physically overall design, they're able to do some really cool stuff like this. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen LG show off a TV that's actually flexible and with the push of a button can be changed from flat to curved, but this is the first time that they're showing us something that is going to be a product this year. Now, there's no model number yet. There's no price or anything like that, but they're telling us that this 77 inch OLED TV that can be adjusted from all the way flat to actually quite curved is going to be available this year as part of their 9900 series. Looks freaking amazing in person and I mean this addresses one of the issues that I have with curved TVs in general in that you're stuck in this situation where you've got a sweet spot or you've got distorted sort of a distorted view of the TV well now depending how far away your couch is how many people need to be in the sweet spot you can actually adjust it by adjusting the curve that's not gonna be cheap though so that's cool TVs that we don't know how much they cost and they have like space age technology in them but what are people actually more likely to be buying this year for a 4k TV probably one of the flat IPS models that are gonna be a lot more affordable and are still coming with some new innovations so first of all with color prime LG's upping the ante in terms of color reproduction. They're also improving contrast, they're adding 4K upscaling, as well as improving viewing angles with their IPS technology, which if you guys have been following our channel for any period of time, you're probably familiar with how much we love IPS. But I've got Kevin here to tell me what they're doing on the software side to make their smart TVs a little bit more smart. Yeah, and we're really, really proud of our WebOS platform. We launched it last year, actually, yeah, so you remember seeing it. Since then, we've launched and sold over 5 million WebOS sets globally. So we're really excited about the success. This year, we're bringing WebOS 2.0. And what that brings is enhanced speed. We're adding multi-core processing to actually speed up the startup time and switching time by 50%. We're also keeping that easy-to-use interface that customers have known to love. Well, there you go. Easier and faster. I guess it doesn't really get much better than that, does it? That's it. But as much fun as it is to look at what you can buy today or even later on this year, well, CES wouldn't be the same without the stuff that there is no model number, no model name, no estimated release time, no nothing. You gotta, you gotta look at that stuff too. So this is what they're calling the world's first 98-inch 8K Color Prime Ultra HD TV. You can see how interesting it is to people. Even if we're filming, they're like getting in there with their cameras and all that. So this is um, essentially a 98-inch TV that runs at 16 times the pixel count of 1080p, four times the pixel count of 4K, has no consumer interface that exists that would be able to drive this kind of resolution, but it's just here for the sheer wow factor of it all. We're going to get our camera as close as they're going to allow us to. They don't let us pass the, uh, the little barricade here, and we're going to show you guys how fine that image is, but basically this would almost be usable from like monitor viewing distances as opposed to TV viewing distances. Speaking of viewing distances, if you're looking at your 
phone ever and you want it to not get scratched up and still be you know super crystal clear and have a nice satisfying feel you might want to check out store.phantom.glass phantom glass is powering us here at the show they make the best darn screen protectors out there they go on bubble free and they're super durable made of gorilla glass also want to give a shout out to hyperx those guys have some great content over on their youtube channel youtube.com slash hyperx got a lot of great great gaming stuff we've got links to both of those guys in the video description don't miss any of our ces content by making sure you're subscribed and we'll see you at the next booth or suite or wherever it is our journey takes us.